this week on Laurie Taylor's vlog. Now this is the art car park changing. I love sending it. <laughs> few days gonna be pretty busy after Yaum Billy joined Dave and Zeno and now they're both in Courchevel ready for the world champs but Alan and I have come to Berchtesgaden we're gonna squeeze in the first of the two Europa Cups here and it's a 10 hour drive so we're gonna squeeze in the first one drive a little finish the drive on Saturday race world champs on Sunday so fairly busy schedule and that means fully packing up, taking our stuff to the race so that we can bounce straight after. Operation Bechtus Garden and Boost. Had blue skies for weeks and pretty good temperatures. Blue sky turned grey and the freezing level went way up. <laughs> yeah, gone grey and nice and warm. Top session was good, but just a little bit straight. A few mistakes at the bottom, went over the finish line fairly slowly. But only 0.86 back in sixth, so that's striking distance. By this point, the rain had started. So I headed inside. I managed to catch some of the World Champs GS and cheer on Charlie before heading out for my second run. Seventh place. A few too many mistakes in there, but points on the board. Some Europa Cup points to take through to the next ones in Levy. <sighs> right, Courchevel. Now this is the art car park changing. <laughs> Our plan for the journey was to get half the driving done after the race, booking a hotel en route and get to bed at a regular time. Then we could get up and finish the drive the next day into Courchevel. And as we approached the hotel, we caught sight of the race beast. It was looking pretty epic. You guys are living it up out here. Yeah, it's proper out here, big man. Proper job. How are you? again. Well, a room tour. Come in. It's washing time. Your I'm start for my recovery walk. Oh, I seem to have stumbled across someone. Seems to be luxury here. After such a long drive, it was important to mobilize and activate my body ready for the next day. Hello. Welcome to our humble abode. A humble abode. I'm actually quite impressed with these rooms, to be fair. They're big for France. France, very good. Sorry French, if you're watching this. We're also lucky to have Abby join us for the World Champs. Not a luxury we've had this year so far. Ryan. I love sending it. Looks pretty impressive from the top. Not steep as everyone was making it out. It's just like a sustained pitch. Good morning. Here we go. Yo, man. Yo, what's up, boys? Well, crowd's starting to pop off. And it seems I've actually been filming in my pocket for 38 minutes. And my battery is dead. My other battery is in my bag. So 
This will be over and out. Crowd's going. Of course looks awesome. Billy's got the ball. I've got something a little different today. Maximal Geo. That, that, that is dope. <laughs> this, this is the Decker's finest. You've got to go out of the gate onto the steep. Then you've got to absolutely hammer the flat. No mercy. <laughs> no mercy. Okay, this lighting's very good for my moustache, making it look much darker than it really is. Brilliant, exactly what I need. I might shit myself before we get to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Caffeine is already high. We're about to do a top up. Let's go. feeling pretty disappointed but there's always someone in the team to cheer you up so this week on Laurie Taylor's vlog we are going to give a pair of uh, maybe lecky poles signed by myself and Laurie so subscribe to the channel drop a follow on Instagram and love oh my god oh! Course two looks interesting. Come on. The second course was probably one of the turniest I'd seen, and I've skied a lot of Tristan's courses. But being outside the 30, it meant I got to watch Dave and Billy tackle it first. And as you know, Dave is pretty good at these kind of courses. Ja, hier, hier, bleibst du hin. Meinst 
er zu spät zum Druck her. Ja, jetzt Bleib. packt er Schien ein bisschen ins Bringt er sich um die Früchte seiner Arbeit Bleib und dann raus. Und es reicht somit nicht für die Führung. Then it was my turn to head up and get ready for the second run. I needed to put the first run behind me, start fresh and go at it with everything I had. It's warm and my boots feel very soft. I'm trying to give them a bit of a refrigeration, cool them down, make them a little bit stiffer. They're feeling a bit sloppy. <clears throat> if I'm honest, pretty disappointed with the first run. Happy with the approach to the pitch. Coming in, I went the pitch, but I just didn't really change modes from coming back at the gate. Coming onto a flat where you really need to go, I just, I kept controlling it, which ends up quite slow. Watched Dave and Billy. Course looks super tricky and technical. Billy fought through a few mistakes to finish. Dave, good at the top, and then just didn't quite hold it at the bottom. This run, don't have anything to lose here from outside the 30, but got a difficult course ahead of me and a challenge. How was your first run? Shit. Yeah. Skewed like a fat pussy. I was happier with the way I skied the second run, but I still left the world champs feeling a little deflated. I knew it was a good opportunity and I knew I could do well and get a good result. But the show goes on. Yep, disappointing, but there's plenty more going on this season. So again, like I've probably said a million times now, I feel like there's a lot of lessons being learned here. Uh, <laughs> on to the next, which happens to be in America, where I am right now. And already haven't raced yet, but the trip in America, it's not disappointing. So stay tuned for the next one because I think it's gonna be a fun one. Anyway, now, World Champs video. And this is where I announced the winner of the giveaway of my Foos Out jacket. The winner is... Bailey Ross. Run it. Right, Bailey, send me a message on Instagram and I will get this jacket posted to you. Probably after all the time zone hopping that's about to happen. This week's giveaway, I have three head hoodies. Head Rebels, that's what we're going for here. Head Rebels hoodies, I'll put a picture up there. There's a small, there's a medium, and there's a large. So what I'm gonna do is each hoodie is an individual uh, prize. When you enter, you say which size hoodie you want to win, and I will pick a one winner for each size. So to win a hoodie, here on YouTube, give the video a like, and down in the comments, let me know which size hoodie it is you want to win. Then. Over on Instagram, I'm going to be posting a reel from over here in America as my giveaway post. So on that reel, leave a comment with the size you want, then head over to the Head Rebels who I'll tag in the post and give them a follow. I think that's it. Anyway, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up in the next few weeks. So subscribe and stay tuned and I'll see you next week in America. For the first spice, we have the Österreicher. The Gam Knudel. Yeah, the Gam Knudel for the first spice. First, the half spice. Ah, oh, Italian. Yeah, the Northern. Yeah, it's super. <laughs>